Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me. My name is Jessica Mothers was a makeup lover, of course. So for today, I wanted to do a green smoky eye, but I also wanted to throw purple on top of that bitch. So that's what I did. I'm going to be doing my eyes as well as my face. I do have a couple of new face goodies to play with today, so I'm really excited about that. I think my base looks absolutely flawless. I finally perfected it, so no matter what products that I use, um, it comes out complimentary to my face shape and preferences so i'm very pleased with that um i think today's video is going to be pretty short sweet and simple um straight to the point if you know what i mean um so yeah if you are curious about the products that i use and how i achieve this makeup definitely keep on watching and don't forget i was gonna say definitely and don't forget so at the same time so kind of, well, anyways don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video where i do an up close of my makeup that way you guys can see the true beauty of the blend and without further ado, let's go and jump right on in. Can you tell I'm excited? So I feel like the eyes are going to be super simplistic. I'm going to be taking the Under the Cosmetic Dead of Night palette. I think I've only used this the one time. And I really want to use the greens. And maybe like the purple shimmer. I have so much fun doing purple and green together. So... I think I remember saying my only, like, the only downside about this palette is that it doesn't have very pale blending shades, but I know Earth Cosmetic does a lot of, like, different color stories, so you could definitely pick from one of our other palettes to complete the blend. I'm just going to take this Makeup and Murder pigment, this little pastel green one, because I'm thinking a smoky eye. Hear me out. <laughs> So I'm going to start by taking this Jessup Multi 11 brush with the shade Merc, which is actually teal, like a teal green. Well, teal is like blue and green mixed together, so. Yeah. So I am just going to pack this down. So what I'm doing is just tapping to blend and I'm gonna do this in like a funky egg shape and then once I got a funky little egg shape like this I'm gonna make sure both sides match before I start blending this out so this is kind of the vibe I look really crazy next I want to take shade garden which is this really pretty green right here and I'm gonna take this on a wet and wild brush And I'm going to go right over the edges of this and start blending. I want to make sure I'm leaving just a smidge of room for the lightest color as well. Or if you wanted to, if you just wanted to use the one palette, you could just get a clean blending brush and really soften the edges up. You can get a nice blend that way. So now I'll take a clean fluffy brush with this shade here. This minty green. And I'm going to start blending the edges of this out. This is a Doll Beauty DB12 brush, by the way. So then after I lay this color down, I'll just go back in through all the colors and blend them to the gods. Now I'm going to take some of the Unearthly Glimmer Grasp and shade Star, which is this like purpley um, blue color. I'm just going to tap this down all over the darkest portion of this. Clean my fingers off. Looks blue. I'm just going to take the brush that I used for the green shade garden. I'm just going to buff these edges out a little bit so it's just on my lid. Now I'm going to take the Balm Swing Liner and do a wing. 
And then I'm going to pop on these lashes. These are the Blend Bunny Lashes Style Wings. Pop these on. We can move on to face. I have a few new face goodies. Well, first things first, I did get another shade of the Be Perfect Chroma Cover. So I wanted to get N1, but they didn't have it. So I decided to go just a shade down, C2. This is way too pink still. So I doctored it up a little bit. Um, I just kind of mixed in some of the LA Girl white. Sorry, my mom just texted me saying she's coming to pick up my youngest. I always keep my phone on when I'm fil filming um, just in case like my son's school calls. So sorry if my phone's always dinging. Yeah, grandma's gonna come pick you up. Come get dressed. Actually, I think that's a pretty good shade. Like, nice and doctored up. I really love this foundation. So I'm like, bummed that the shade I got a doctored up still. So I put in a Sephora order, and I got this Makeup Forever, the HD Light capturing self setting concealer i got a sample of it so i wanted to use that and see if i like it because if i like it maybe i'll buy it i also was thinking maybe use one of the shades for cream contour oh you need help let me see what's going on i think i'm gonna take these two shades um ultra hd 52 and ultra hd 41 mixed together for contour and then i'll take ultra hd 11 for concealer i also have my huda beauty concealer here in case I need it. A self setting um, concealer. So I'm gonna wanna make sure that I blend it right away. Ooh, pretty. Now I'll take the shade Ultra HD 11. Oh yeah, that's a good shade. Very like watery formula. Like it almost fell right out of this little container when I tipped it to the side. take the um hank and henry this is the um cream mousse for the lips eyes and cheeks i'm going to be taking this on the cheeks this little peachy shade then i'm going to take the unearthly incandescent highlighter shade molten So for setting my face, I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Loose Powder. I'm going to take shade Sugar Cookie um, on my whole face. And then I got shade Cherry Blossom for under my eyes. I'm shaking in my fucking boots, okay? So I just took a little bit of the Elf Chemo CC Powder to re-brighten up under my eyes. I think I'm if, if I'm going to use it, I love the Huda Beauty Powder. So I feel like if I'm going to use the pink one, I'm going to set with like a translucent powder first. And then use that pink, kind of just like in the apples of my cheek, to blend from my blush to my inner corner. So I will keep that in mind in the future. But look what else I got. This is the Doll Beauty Give Me Sun Bronzer. This was surprisingly big. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be so big. The mirror is huge this is like really good size i'm very very happy with this um i don't know i guess just based off of like the pictures i thought it wasn't gonna be that big but Cha -ching. definitely worth the price it's not even that expensive but definitely worth it so i'm gonna take this doll beauty bb2 brush which is an angled brush just start with a little bit this is a great shade for me 
I'm going to take the Unearthly Single Shade Tangy, which is the orange, but I'm just going to take a kiss of this. Just a little kiss. Because I do have like a curly blush on. I just want to... Just a little kiss. Just like that. For highlighter, I'm taking the Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlighter. I want to take shade Transient, which is the green. Tell me why I got a little upside ass forehead. Um, this here is a completed look. I just went in with the Nubby Lip Pencil shade Espresso and then the Beauty Creation Ultra Dazzle Lip Gloss shade Foxy. The green, orange blush, brown lip gives it to me every time. Like, that never does me wrong. Also, I put in, like, some um, leave-in conditioner and, like, scrunched my hair. And I think it looks pretty cute. It looks pretty cute. She's a little cute. Um, yeah. So I do love the Huda Beauty powder, but I think the pink is like a, you know, definitely don't want to use that directly under my eyes because not unless I'm doing like pink under my eyes, then I could set with that. I think that would help keep the color. But I like a very bright under eye, and I think the white just doesn't do me wrong on that one. But I'm not mad that I have three of these powders now. Not mad about it. Pleasantly surprised by how big this doll beauty bronzer is i am so happy with that purchase so happy be perfect chroma cover i think i did a damn good job mixing the foundation like to match me so the fact that i can do that i'm fucking hype anyways i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content without further ado we're gonna go out and ahead roll the clip